There's a video I uploaded today of Christopher Hitchens dismantling a rabbi on the subject of circumcision. As you can see here, it's been removed for hateful ideology. It's quite astounding that in our age of 2024, condemning the wicked and immoral act of circumcision, and in this case I specifically mean as a religious tradition, that it could be considered a hateful ideology. Aside from the overall subject of whether circumcision is right or wrong, being it's done without the consent of the baby, my issue, as always, is that which is rooted in the Bible. I say this because the most profound and egregious issues and downright immoralities that I focus on are those directly out of the Bible versus those of whatever a specific culture adopts or practices. With that said, this extraordinary defense of the ritual of circumcision in all of its burdensome hoopla is unequivocally hinged on the covenant between God and Abraham and the rules laid forth in Genesis 17. And I'll read a section out of my passage from the Holy Shit of the Bible. Number seven, covenantal addiction. Let's first appreciate the spirited buildup to the scriptures in focus. In Genesis 12, we read of the call of Abram. God promises to make a great nation out of Abram, to make his name great, to bless his descendants, and that through him the whole earth would be blessed. In Genesis 15, God then promises Abram that his descendants will be innumerable like that of the stars, and that they will inherit the land of Canaan as part of this covenant. Genesis 17 then begins with God appearing to Abram, and he continues in promising him countless descendants, great wealth, kingdoms, and kings within his lineage. Abram then earns a name change to Abraham, as God promises to make him the father of many nations. Abraham is delightfully delirious, having just won the world. God then steps a foot closer and says, Um, yeah, there's just one thing I need from you to seal the deal. This, uh, may come as a bit of a surprise, especially at your ripe old age of 99, but it's imperative that you obey what I'm going to need you to do. Oh, and not only you. You know all those descendants I promised you? Yeah, well, I'm going to need them to also follow suit. Abraham was ready for anything, so he thought. Sit down, bud, said God. It felt like an eternity for Abraham as he sat in great anticipation, anxiously awaiting this obligatory duty. God then turned to Abraham and politely said, I'm going to need you to cut off that skin on the tip of your penis. God wanted to establish this covenantal addiction to the appendage known as Brit Mila, covenant of circumcision, very early on to emphasize its extraordinary importance. Of the 31,102 verses in the Bible, 23,145 in the Old Testament, circumcision makes its mark at number 408. On any given day, Stare into the void of eternity and imagine a God who is, or even was, makes no difference, concerned with the tip of the penis. Imagine this God, this uncreated source, this zenith of perfection, omnipotence, and omniscience, and the creator of all things, stooping down from the vast corridors of his domain and demanding the foreskin of men as a covenantal seal. However repulsively absurd that concept, it still managed to go viral. We'll see if that Hitchens video is reinstated. Much love to you. See ya.